Welcome and welcome back my dear tarot pal to another pick a card reading or pick an image reading whichever way you want to go with it. We are looking at a pretty deep one hopefully as the messages will come in uh, for your ancestral healing. There's enough content on YouTube and on Google to tell you more about how our DNA affects our life, uh, how our ancestors are scientifically a very big part of our decisions, who we are, our physical structure, um, and a lot that happens in our life. Apart from that, of course, comes the spiritual aspect of it. Remember, in this reading, we're looking at whichever ancestral group who wants to come in. It may or, of course, it cannot cover on the end number of lifetimes you have, you have a long lineage of ancestors from your parents, both sides. Um, so we're basically looking at whichever ancestor wants to come in, what gifts have you received, um, what guidance do they have for you for whatever you're living through right now, okay? Any possible events that come in, um, we'll deep dive as the messages go in. If you'd like a personal reading with me, there's an email address in the description box below which you can use to book an appointment. Yes, these are appointment-based readings. Um, also, you, there I am on Instagram where there's content which doesn't of course show up on YouTube. So if you do enjoy Tarapal on YouTube, I request you and I invite you to join me on my Instagram community as well. Without much ado, uh, I have also placed a, cry uh, a crystal card for each of you. For those of you who were drawn to more than one pile, if you're drawn to more than you know, all three piles itself, all three images, that's also very likely. This is a general message. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Not every message is meant for you. Um, you can also use this reading to think of three different situations or three different aspects of your life and pick one particular pile for you. So that's a lot of choices and options. The first pile or the first option, we have the Kabamba Jasper. And in case... You like this over the image that was there in the thumbnail feel free to go with that option number two we have tiger iron and option number three is coincidentally a labradorite which we also have right here on our table today you can pause the video you'll see timestamps in the description box below to lead you to your respective files i'll see you in the reading Welcome pile number ones, those of you who picked either the image of the first image, the Aarti, or this particular card. We'll keep this for your guidance and we'll leave it here. First, we're looking at which group of ancestors or which ancestral lineage is coming in today, um, their personality, perhaps a little bit about their life, how that intertwines with your current situation, anything that comes in, right? So who is the ancestor? We have the Justice. And we have Lion Spirit and the number 37. We have Moth with the number 39. And let's put this here. Okay. And Mouse with the number 40. These are some shadow aspects for them. Obscurity. Anger. Ooh, this is powerful. Okay. Anger and distracted. Okay. Maybe let's leave it like this. Who are your ancestors? By the way, if you guys can hear some background noises of random construction sounds, can't help it. Um, every time I start recording, that's what's always at play for some reason. And if you randomly hear a dog bark, I have two dogs in the room. Those of you who are Tara Pals who already know it, can't avoid that. Love my babies. So please excuse that. Back to your message. First off, with the Justice card and the Lion Spirit coming in together, if I have to channelize the energy of what kind of professions they were in, these are people who were lawmakers, doctors, um, scientists. Okay. People who would do research and contribute to the society, not in the way perhaps a king does, uh, if you're talking about the older eras, um, but as ministers, as researchers. I wouldn't even like to say ministers because that's close to the political aspects of it. It's more like the lawyer, the judge, the, um, the scientist 
professionals of every era as they were named and as they were formed okay or the wise healers uh, if we have to go that route or the shamans okay that is the kind of energy that comes in immediately with the justice and the lion spirit together a very strong understanding of social norms creating social norms um also a kind of relationship with life wherein they um they've held certain boundaries around moral aspects around uh, this is the right way to go this is not the right way to go this this is ethics this is not ethical so very um focused understanding of right and wrong now this is also an ancestor that's coming in who's had a very clear um who's had a very strong analytical uh, ability who's also had an ability to look at the minute details budgeting finance bankers um uh, those kind of people okay and they've always been reached out by their smaller community by their families when they were walking the realms of earth um to solve things to um mitigate uh disputes okay or to be the diplomats or the bureaucrats who travel from one part to the another part to solve uh, wars or bring in peace right uh, that is the energy that comes in with the justice and the lion spirit of the ancestral lineage that's come in for your reading today okay there are also people who have gone from you know they didn't belong perhaps to the most uh, affluent or um well to do families of their own times but through their hard work through their uh, focus through their resilience they by the time they left the realm of earth um, they were well known and respected well known doesn't always mean famous but of course that can be so for many of us this is a common reading after all but they were respected and they left a legacy or a second line which was better than the one that they came from i hope that makes sense right uh, they improved they did better okay at the same time these were intellectuals of deep thinkers which sometimes meant that they didn't have enough resources time or uh, the environment did not support them to tend to their emotions wisely so a lot of your ancestral lineage has perhaps dealt with passive aggressiveness of um numbness towards emotions of over intellectualizing or over logical uh, people who had to just stick with the book or make the book of laws and that's that's also detrimental to growth in a, in many ways right um they've had to be the people who had to hold a community together due to the laws that were made by them or by people before them okay um, so yes while there's a lot of respect intelligence intellect the shadow aspects of this becomes the numbness the the inability to see the grays in life the everything is not going to be equally balanced everything justice is in itself a very um, it's a spectrum right truth is always a spectrum what may be good for you today may not work for 10 generations later so there could be an aspect of rigidity there could be an aspect of uh, lacking i don't want to say that they lacked empathy they lacked an inability to see and understand that there are various cultures maybe uh, they were also restricted by the laws of the land that were created before them and they were always set on a path uh, due to a certain financial lack or due to the fact that um, they knew that it's not going to be easy uh, if they have to navigate through life from an emotional spectrum rather than a very logical practical practical aspect okay at their older years at their last end of their life the same person typically tends to start realizing that okay while i did a lot they perhaps did not feel content and happy with the way they had lived their life because by the time they turned gray they started to realize that they've missed out on an, on the richness that life can hold when you are somebody who can make space for your emotions and those emotions which are not always positive our um push the boundaries of what is morally just because that's how evolution happens that's how the society grows so they did die with a huge amount of regret if i have to sum that up they wanted to do things differently and they did reach that wisdom which is why this soul tribe or this set of ancestors would have most likely reincarnated or would want the next generations to not repeat the mistakes 
there's always when we're doing an ancestral reading a need to look at your south node of the chart the south node of your own birth chart the ketu where it's placed is not only your own strengths and past lives but also your ancestral strengths also the um, the curses and the traumas that you've perhaps got in not because you were cursed it's more on the sense of you have to solve it you have to work through it you have to move around it okay um pride and reputation was very important for them and they would rather die than cross a certain line in order to feel like they are, they are respected and they are valued and then the principles really matter to them okay and <laughs> i don't know why i'm looking at if you've seen the hindi movie of uh, mohabbate there's this character of amitabh bachchan and that that's the energy that's channeling like you know uh, somebody who's very rules driven very disciplined very focused but you know by the time he, he at the later part of the movie he realizes that's what led him to not have fulfilling relationships true authentic um, bonds and that's been crippling to him right so that's the kind of an energy that's coming in when we're talking about who the ancestors were and the kind of life they had I really want to focus again on the mouse spirit here. Um, the attention to detail has also perhaps made them, for some of you, you know, professions that require great artistic uh, artistry as well. Which means, like, if you can imagine, like, you know, in the cave, um, cave era, they used to carve on the stones, right? And it it is very minute work. Your hands have to be steady, and you have to like really be focused. So yeah, th those could be some professions as well. the fact that you have anger and obscurity coming in again talks about the fact that 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 passive aggressiveness that sense of injustice that they felt that by the time the life was over they could have had a smoother easier life had they not been dealt the hand that they were dealt with is very strong in your energy which i will of course move towards how your how that connects to your current gifts and um, healing but it clearly means that through the dna line there is a challenge of really identifying perhaps for um, the entire lineage where certain emotions get transmuted as anger so to explain anger is basically the the coverage that everybody holds okay everybody holds to a deeper emotion sadness grief loss frustration those things are sometimes when not channeled and labeled correctly are Uh, outbursts of anger of temper okay uh, i'm also seeing a very uh, specific message of course will not resonate with some of the, all of you there is a sage um who was known um in india i think correct me if i'm wrong he was called rishi vashisht um and rishi vishwamitra both of them had the same story they when they were angry they used to curse people okay they used to give like uh, you know or oh, somebody just this something slightly disrespectful and they would um throw a curse at them perhaps the lineage here that i'm channeling is also that same sage lineage or the sage himself okay and there's a message here of very strong need for your ancestors to through you whoever's listening to this are you able to label your emotions correctly are you able to practice the pause and respond to a situation some of you may have literally the black tongue if you don't know what the black tongue is there are certain there's a saying that says that some people when they say certain things and it's applicable to all okay it's not just it's limited to those people those people just tend to see an immediate manifestation of it an immediate reaction of it um and if you if you've experienced it i, I do have a black tongue my my entire family does my entire mother's side has a black tongue but um uh, it they say like when you're saying something when you're hurt when you're angry when you're upset those negative emotion i don't want to call them negative and uh, that's not the right word the emotions which are difficult or complicated that's the word um because there is no emotion which is negative it's each emotion is powerful when you're going through those emotions which are typically complicated for humans when you say something when you wish something not so good for another person it comes true and maybe many of you experience it that when i was crying and i said something uh, that i want this terrible thing to happen to this person it did and you would always notice once that moment has passed such people will feel a terrible amount of grief and regret that oh i shouldn't have been i shouldn't have said that and nobody should do that because that's that's karma right your spells are spellings right and spells are called spells because it's what we said uh, which can of course be powerful and will be powerful but you just created a huge karmic bondage with the person you cursed okay and you have that power too 
your ancestral lineage will have that power too that if you really want to harm someone yes you can harm them but that is the pattern that you need to break stop cursing people stop wishing them bad i'm not saying you wishing people bad don't take it in that sense but you know what i'm trying to say right when we are sad we are upset we want the other person to feel what we are feeling and sometimes we say those not so good things in our mind and it's okay if that comes and that's your natural emotion but when you've come down to take it back to forgive the person which is why one of the biggest lessons which your ancestors have passed on to you is forgiveness the another one is understanding your emotions because clearly you would have natural intelligence okay intellectual aspects math science um, understanding something logicalizing something being practical is perhaps something that naturally comes to this pile okay and that comes from that dna of you know maybe you're naturally interested in museums in history in um art so that interest or that intelligence is great what your lesson or what your what you need to work through in this lifetime is can you really emotionally be as intelligent as your intellectually intelligent i hope that kind of made a very clear sense okay um another thing that your ancestral lineage perhaps has and you tend to deal with is there are moments of very clear clarity that you and your ancestors have had as to this is my life goal this is where i'm going um this is how i want it yet because of those emotions that are not addressed because of the numbness that you've gone through and because of that anger clouding your judgment there have been misjudgments missed uh, opportunities uh, because you got distracted or angry so if you had to kind of look at two shadow aspects that you need to integrate there's nothing to fix we are all whole the way we are okay to integrate is your ability to transmute and understand emotions and not make hasty judgments when you are in a moment of anger you need to actually first decide what is making me angry why am i feeling like this and then act upon okay um let's see if i missed anything about who or what the ancestors life was about before we move into the next aspect of your gifts and ancestral healing and guidance coming in um you of course may see in your dreams um a lot of uh, images around hair or uh you could be somebody who also has perhaps good hair okay lion has that mane and that's coming in sh- surely like you and your ancestors and your lineage of ancestors have good hair it can also manifest in the opposite extreme for some of you wherein you've always you when you're struggling with hair fall hair loss uh, due to a lot of stress okay and maybe from a very young age you, your hair started to gray um uh, because again that gray hair is coming in very strong for you guys okay the age groups here could be relevant as well with the numbers 37 39 and 40 you may feel very connected you may have certain revelations you may be actually able to transcend over some ancestral wounds at this age time okay um that is who your ancestors were and we will move towards okay very funny very specific last message some of you hold a lot of anger or your ancestors had to face a lot of uh somebody else taking over their villages or a ruler coming in and taking over what was theirs uh, this could also be that they were born in a part of era where or a, or a surrounding where there was a lot of religious uh, uh conflict there was a lot of uh, you know okay so now i'm channeling that image of uh, Wow, why do I forget historical facts even though I know them when I'm actually doing a reading? Hold on. There is a place where and the place name starts with N, okay? Comment in the sections below if you know what the story about, okay? Um there was a Mughal uh ruler. Wow, I actually shouldn't say this story because I'm not getting it clear. Hold on, wait, let me try. There's a place in Bihar the place name starts with N and it has a library which held huge amount of historical texts okay and buddhists had a lot of uh, uh valuable um literature and historical facts stored there and the invader was it mohammad gori mohammad ghazni i think either or okay um correct and tell me the whole story in the comment section below for the rest of them to know if you know the story that i'm talking about he burned that library 
okay and all the books were burned a lot of the important world artifacts were destroyed what a loser by the way i mean if you ask me what a loser who does that why would you do that to a museum in a temple i mean i know why would you do that because you want to finish off ideas but your ancestor could be one of those monks one of those protectors one of those people who were connected to the library coming back to why i'm telling you that story i will try and look up that story and give you the link in the comment section below but if i forget because these readings typically go long and then uh, something you know by the time it gets uploaded i don't remember but something to do with that place is relevant for you maybe some of you have even dreamt of it or already have heard that story and it has made you curious okay let me know in the comment section below of course will not be for everybody but that that story that place that that lineage is connected to your ancestors okay let's move towards the next part of this reading which is what are the gifts and what are the guidance they would want to give you for your specific situation at this point of this reading i want you to do one thing take a couple of deep breaths go ahead and think of a specific situation or maybe an aspect of life that you want certain guidance around okay because in the next part we're going to deep dive into how can you navigate through what something through something using the strengths and the ancestral lessons that you're navigating through so while i change that and i shuffle this and i bring in this next set of cards think of the specific situation or aspect of life that you seek guidance for meanwhile if i have said something to you that has clicked and you know at your core that that sounds like my lineage leave me a lion emoji in the comment section below tells me and everybody else who's perhaps a part of your ancestral lineage and your larger community that they are with you and you're doing this together in this realm so leave me that lion emoji now and let's look at what gifts and what guidance do we have okay here we go let's put this plant a little away okay so gifts guidance and your overall oh wow heart taurus the heart chakra see again going back to emotions our heart chakra is where we store emotions our love our ability to invite love and receive love a huge aspect of your this life is around emotions okay um let's see the gifts loss okay again see i i sense a burning a burning of tree trees are knowledge okay um uh, and we'll see how this plays out as a gift we'll talk about that i think i want to move this one more side okay we have divine source beautiful see that namaste okay now that's the second time that mudra has shown up for you okay that's perhaps a very healing mudra for you namaste okay i hope you know the meaning the divine in me bows to the divine in you okay is what namaste is deepening beautiful i i want to read this out to you Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender you had the moth spirit which was also talking about surrender they bring the peace of god okay and your tarot cards we have oh wow the hierophant i love this i love when one part of the reading always overlaps with the other if you know tarot you already perhaps know what the hierophant represents four of wands interesting and knight of swords okay let's first talk about some of your gifts shall we and the life journey that you're on maybe that's what also is an important part to touch base for pile one okay clearly with the loss showing up it it there has been a Uh, some of you may have had to deal with property loss at a very young age like maybe your father um, lost a uh, a legal case and that led to you losing a substan- substantial amount of wealth okay or maybe uh, you lost somebody very near and dear for a child like maybe a parent i'm sorry if you have to go through that um but there has been a loss at the early years of your lifetime that has perhaps led you okay to hold a lot of compassion a lot of empathy towards the underdogs towards those who didn't have it easy those who don't come for privilege you naturally gravitate towards them your um one of the gifts is actually to you always seeing the silver line and that is the best gift in this era if you ask me 
somebody who can see the silver lining in every situation you cannot defeat that person you just cannot defeat that person that person is a winner and that person will keep winning in life because no matter what life throws at you your natural gift and it sometimes maybe surprises you that oh my god i thought i'm going to take more time to bounce out of this setback or to bounce out of this loss but even maybe it surprises even you let me know in the comment section below of course um that how quickly you can get over okay and now there's a there's a thin line thin uh, conversation here okay you do get over fast but you need to learn to process emotions those are two sides of the spectrum i hope you understand what i'm saying here because the knight of swords does indicate fast moving actions fast uh, conversations but uh, a lot of that speed okay could be compromising in your ability to connect more deeply with yourself and those around you to bring in more clarity okay remember heart chakra is what your core gift is and whenever something is our gift for everybody on this planet we will always come in with the maximum lessons around it because common sense right you can only be good at something if you have done it enough number of times okay uh, very rarely are people who just and when they are born with like a or oh, somebody was just born to be a great singer they've perhaps practiced it so much in their previous lifetime that they've just come into this one and just hit it off okay but most of us when you go through something on a loop okay as a lesson as a as a pattern and life is not doing that to you because it hates you it is doing that to you because it wants you to master something that is going to be your biggest strength okay so yeah the heart chakra the heart space is going to be your biggest strength your ability to manifest when you feel something deeply is very very strong and at different aspects of your life by number 1 you've perhaps already felt it that when you when you naturally feel tapped into something emotionally not mentally not because when you want it because it's the most logical thing to do that thing will flow towards you okay and that's a gift okay how do you tap into that gift is perhaps the challenge yes divine source and the fact that is namaste you will never be left standard without any um ideas okay some of us have many of many people i i do enough readings to know this those who have this gift don't realize how big of a gift it is if you have an ability and you do by once to always think of a solution on the feet to always know no matter how tricky it gets crisis management if it is your natural strong strength maybe you don't realize it because you do it so naturally that to so many people in the world they would get stuck and frozen at the slightest inconvenience and not be able to think of the next move spontaneous crisis management is your natural gift okay uh, which is why in any profession that requires it you would do phenomenally well i can give you one example like firemen okay like um people in the army like um stock market okay on the feet thinking on the feet i think nowadays most professions need it okay um to be able to constantly know where is the next solution coming from to be constantly focused on how am i going to solve it you hold that inner power of that lion spirit which never makes you feel like i'm a victim of a situation even though shit may be happening and that's a powerful thing to pat yourself on the back of okay and my heart space i'm a clear sentient so i notice how this body feels my heart space is literally feeling like it's expanding when i'm talking about that your crisis management your ability to think solutions your ability to look at your resourcefulness okay your ability to know okay this is the situation i need to call this person i need to do this thing it just you don't even spend 3 minutes pondering over it it just naturally comes to you and you're in that go 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 mode and that's the solution to everything in your life honestly okay um if you ever asking who's going to help me you you not because you're left alone and stranded by the universe not because you won't have enough support system not because um the the god doesn't love you enough to give you uh, help of course you can you know ask help but you know that the best road the best solution uh, the best relationships have happened when you decided that this is what i'm going to do instead of like going out asking a shaman asking a doctor ask, i mean sure consult a doctor consult a lawyer those those are specialists but you need to follow your heart because your heart will always guide you okay if you have to come in and into this reading and take away one thing follow your heart listen to your heart 
tap into your emotions that's all i'm going to tell you that's your biggest gift that you can unlock because your ancestors wanted to live this life they wanted to have an ability to feel accomplished not because of the knowledge they held but because of the feelings they felt okay and maybe for many of you who are listening to this emotions have been your struggle aspect to understand what you're really feeling or to even uh, accept that you're feeling something that could be the struggle okay and the more you let go of that struggle the deepening of life comes in the deepening of your experiences the enrichment of your emotions comes in the gift that you also hold is you have naturally uh, somebody who has faith okay some of us had to go through uh, difficult situations bad relationships or some sort of a trigger to believe that there is a bigger universe guiding us but you and you of course may have had the same experiences but from a very young age you've understood at a core level that there is a higher power and there are miracles possible and faith is naturally faith comes natural to you okay and faith in the higher source okay if you can just believe in the same way in yourself um then that ancestral healing is already at play okay your ancestors knew very well how to do spiritual rituals okay uh, they understood spiritual books very well they perhaps have written many books themselves and that is a gift that you also have communicating um traditional values and if you are a parent who's watching this your kids will automatically pick up they would naturally feel attuned to visit spiritual places okay pilgrimage um you, they want to celebrate festivals you are perhaps somebody who loves celebrating festivals okay and these are gifts guys i don't know if you've ever met somebody who's on the other spectrum of you and i'm sure you would have these are gifts these are things that make our life beautiful these are those simple joys of lighting a diya and feeling connected and feeling powerful that many people who are not tuned in can never realize it okay um leave me a lamp or a diya emoji if you if you feel what i just said okay sometimes just sitting with yourself and feeling connected to the source is the biggest blessing and so many mental health issues can be helped if if everybody had that gift okay if everybody could feel that that connection that perhaps naturally comes to you and is a huge source for you dreams are a way in which your spirit guides your ancestors connect with you as a guidance i definitely want to say you should be doing at least once a year if not more frequently um any kind of a puja a ritual to um to thank your ancestors because a lot of knowledge a lot of wisdom that you have is actually their dna is actually their um them passing on all the years of of knowledge to you that's that's how you just have to say it okay hereafter to the four of wands i do see a prediction here some of you could be asking about marriage or getting married the hereafter does talk about a traditional marriage system so if you're asking is that for you yes it is for you um and it may be happening sooner than you're imagining four of wands is a celebration four of wands is a wedding okay um some of you should attend every network event social event that you are invited to a lot of solutions will come through the network of people you will meet at informal gatherings okay um and informal gatherings could mean anything in this world from going to that club if that's what calls to you you don't have to be the most spiritual person um if going and dancing to in the club uh feels like a spiritual activity for you go do it going to a rave going to a music concert uh, attending a wedding whatever kind of a larger network draws you visit that is where your solution will come from okay uh, the hereafter of course talks about be mindful of dogmatic thinking that's a caution here remember the ancestors lessons were they became too much by the books so they couldn't live their life to the fullest okay break that stigma get out of that negative friendship if that makes you feel drawn pull down um another example in their era um divorces were a taboo um get that divorce if you're in an unhappy marriage i'm not saying divorce us <laughs> divorce your person but if you're not agreeing to a societal norm if you're not happy in something get out of it that is the message of the hereafter as well the wisdom of the hereafter lies in the key that knowing that we are the people who are making all the rules for our society our society's rules cannot be holding us back to live a better life to live a life from our authentic heart space 
okay a key guidance here for you pile number 1 is don't shun away your true emotions even if those emotions make you uncomfortable even if the emotion is jealousy envy fear insecurity sit with it okay sit with it because that's your doorway that will open you to that blessing okay some of you may also have a gift of writing okay you write very well you can write songs you can write stories uh, fiction writing may come natural to you spiritual writing may come natural to you one of your remedies is to do mantra chanting okay any mantra chanting whatever jap path whatever suits you whichever religion you believe in whichever source you believe in that is where you'll draw a lot of power that is how your ancestors have drawn a lot of power from okay this mudra okay if you sit with it for 10 minutes a day I mean, I don't know any person who is sat like this, whether or not they are an atheist, and has not felt the power of the right and the left coming together, active masculine and feminine. That is what the justice card also represents: balance. Okay. Uh, another thing, the Libra season could be significant for something that you're asking because you did have the justice card, which signifies the Libra. Um, so yeah, Namaste is a significant thing for you. Okay. the sword of truth is also coming in archangel michael is another spiritual entity who protects you who firmly works with you so acknowledge his presence speak to him um feel powerful and ask him to cut away this this blockage that clearly exists in you bringing together your emotional and your practical aspects of life okay um i don't know why i feel called to say this to you be brave by number 1 you are brave but what are you thinking is to be brave is not how to explain it okay it's a very broken message you can be what you think will make you a terrible person and i'm not saying go commit a murder okay please don't take it out of context sometimes we hold back ourselves because we feel that selfish that is mean that is not okay maybe that is the road that will make you the best person for yourself and for everybody around you okay um that's the message i'm going to read out um this card and it talks about yoga of course uh, that could be your biggest we talked about namaste and mudra already that is your um guidance or your remedy that will work immediately for you and also um the color green okay that's significant for you okay the heart chakra is green we have a lot of green showing up in your reading Every time you go through a loss, okay, I'm getting emotional on this one. Every time you go through something, and I heard this about 12 hours before filming this, it is a a person who gets everything they asked for is actually very unfortunate. Hear me out. Someone who got everything they asked for in the in the first go at least is very unfortunate because they never had an opportunity to see. what could have been and would have been had they you know not received it and sometimes if you've not received something and you've got something better you know how how much of a bigger blessing that is right how much it turns out to be like wow okay and also in order for you to get that thing that you really hell bent on because your power of manifest manifestation is strong to channelize rejection failures and feel those emotions and then get what you want is always sweeter okay than just getting it okay uh instant gratification will never feel as good never as something that you had to work through as a journey as a process fall in love with the process not the destination that's the message okay i nourish my soul these are some affirmations if you want to work with them take a screenshot of this i nourish my soul my mind and my body I'm flexible and integrate yoga into my daily life. I enjoy a regular meditation practice. I think I did cover that if I didn't. That is your key to everything, okay? Uh because you do have an ability to problem solve, to do crisis management. Uh, by the way, just before your reading, that just clicked me. I was very drawn to the clear quartz crystal, okay? And I was literally playing with it. This could be a crystal that really helps you by number 1, okay? I receive understanding and wisdom from various cultures and philosophies. Open-mindedness, going back to that message of Herophant, be mindful of dogmatic beliefs. Just because in your particular religion and country something is acceptable and okay doesn't mean you have to live like that for the rest of your life. If you feel there's a different way of living or believing, 
go ahead and do that okay um, have you been seeking balance in your life okay, this is funny we had justice for you we talked about balance are you finding inner peace for your mind body and soul take time to meditate and focus on the center of consciousness open to the realization that there's an underlying unity in all spiritual philosophies okay one last image that came in i mean i've got a lot of visions for this pile for some reason if you've been thinking about visiting banaras varanasi that image is coming back again okay um that was also very evident in your image that we picked the pile image that we picked but i that time thought that you know what that that arti image exists in so many other spiritual places but if you've been thinking about varanasi um you may want to visit it okay and maybe do a puja or a ritual for your ancestors there okay very powerful lineage and clearly you guys are blessed with many gifts um if you liked it do leave two thumbs up that video leave me a namaste emoji tells me you've been with me all the way till the end of this reading the divine in me bows to the divine in you and your ancestors thank you for coming in and giving us clarity as to what's the next move until the next reading take care bye bye Hello and welcome my pile number 2s. We're going to use this for your final guidance card or your affirmations. We're going to look at these set of cards for who your ancestors are, what lineage is coming in today, what their personality, their lives were like, their shadow aspects, and then we'll jump into the gifts and the guidance that they have for your present situation or life. Um Drop the crystal. Sorry. Okay. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, and this is the second time you're showing up, do that now. Makes a huge difference for me. We're almost at that thousand viewers mark. Okay. We have magician. Okay. Uh, the Gemini energy, the energy of Mercury, showing up here with the magician card right there. Pile ones, hat, Libra. We have Gemini. We have a lot of air sign energy today. Rabbit spirit. Okay. Lizard. with the number 38 and the ant spirit okay kind of clear who they are let's make space for this right here okay we have anguish we have dazed and we have dumbfounded okay let's talk about their profession their life their what have they seen what era are we channeling today first of all how do i explain this these are your ancestors or the ones that are coming in today were in simple way the common men of their era which means they didn't come from a lot of money they didn't do the glamorous jobs they were not kings and queens um they were not they were not privileged or better than anybody else in their community which means they are the they were the people who how do you say uh, you know the working class of every community the the farmers the iron smith the blacksmith the uh, the knight in many places okay knight is still a glamorous job the soldier uh, jobs which are difficult life which is mundane monotonous repetitive and sometimes holds a huge aspect of uncertainty and understand that in the older times the uncertainty was way higher there is plague there is war there is famine there is something or the other happening which disrupts common man's life it happens even now but about 1000 years ago even about 500 years ago um that was not the case okay and the ancestors that we are channeling today did not come with any privilege they were the builders the the everyday farmers the the mining workers the Uh, people who really had to do the nine to six, or rather the nine to nine of their times, okay, and they were hardworking. One of the energy that you naturally have, you are hardworking, okay. You don't expect life to be easy for you because it's not been easy all the time. You don't expect life to sometimes they what they've not had, and I want to touch upon that first, as because we're talking about who they are. They didn't have the privilege. to have access to all kinds of resources okay they didn't have the privilege to uh, they didn't have the internet that's the biggest privilege this world holds today okay to have access to knowledge to reach out to people around the globe um 
to share your story to su- ask for support on a platform as large as the internet they didn't have that which led them to have a lot of pain a lot of loss okay many of your ancestors have perhaps uh, had uh, deaths in their family of little children um, due to diseases due to plagues due to famines and that has left a wound this is a ancestral lineage which is always going to feel a little more anxious a little more fussy a little more worried about health you know those people who like uh and if it's not you you would notice that it's people around you are you will always have at least one person or more who's overly fussy overly anxious around their eating habits their uh, if they fall sick they kind of get extremely cranky than a normal person would because health to have access to basic resources was difficult for this ancestral by okay there was a lot of uncertainty there was a lot of survival issues for this the riots moving from one country to another and all of our ancestors would have collectively seen it but the ones that are coming in for you today in this reading are those ancestors clearly and that's the that's the channeling that's the that's the frequency perhaps that spirit wants to come in and talk to you about which coming in okay um they've clearly had a lot of children as well okay <laughs> that's something you may be coming from a large family uh, you know your uncle had 17 brothers and then your grandfather married four times those kind of a storyline is very evident here um and the word that i'm really really channeling again is that fear of uncertainty that fear of loss that fear of somebody else controlling your life the government the politics the uh, the war which continues to plague your mind okay which continues to even give you health issues some of you okay because you don't know where this anxiety comes from you don't know why you're constantly sometimes feeling anxious distracted depressed and don't blame yourself don't blame your ancestors they had to live a tougher life than you're living today um uh, but clearly there's that lack mindset that fear that your ancestors have had to go through okay some of them could definitely be great dancers could have great artistic gifts but they never got an opportunity to do something with it okay i uh, like imagine like a musician who's naturally talented or wants to become a musician but couldn't become a musician because the father died and he had to take care of the entire family and then had to go to a mining job okay uh, i'm giving an example that's not for everybody but understand the storyline the theme the ancestral wound that comes with it okay the strength that comes with it is resilience okay the strength that comes with it is the ability to survive to adapt the key word here with ant and lizard is adaptability you can change 15 countries have a crazy travel plan um switch jobs 18 time in life and still not feel like oh my god i mean of course you'd feel like it's it's hectic but you can still do it okay you're a survivor naturally it's hard to put you down because you have natural survival skills that is a strength at the same time that can be a weakness okay uh, you don't have to any more continue to be in survival mode you don't have to constantly think about insecure thoughts because we no longer in that lizard world yes we are still threatened yes the world is still full of criminals yes people fall sick people die early but if you constantly are in that anxious mode of what could go wrong you're perhaps attracting what could go wrong okay this perhaps leads you or and has led your ancestors as well to kill a lot of time okay now this will get triggering so please understand the context don't shoot the messenger many of our ancestors chose not to at many times fix something or change something which they also at a subconscious level knew is toxic not working um can be changed better financial habits uh, don't gamble don't drink alcohol if you know that you don't have money you know what i'm trying to say right uh, but to numb themselves to to escape what they what life was constantly throwing at them they had to they maybe went that road and there's no judgment right you didn't live their life but um, there was a better option there was a better choice and your ancestors want to pass on that lesson of to make better choices and how do you get that when somebody does get thrown the similar situations so many of you may have chosen to be someone who would um always be sober you'd never touch alcohol or something like that right or you'd never um through a ancestral mishap you have learned by just a very natural way maybe you've had uh, a parent or an uncle who was perhaps not doing well because of 
um, an addiction that they dealt with okay and you you hold that maturity from a very young age that there are certain substance abuse that can lead us astray and you want to stay out of that okay not that it is bad for everybody but it is just not something that you want to do okay children were always important in this lineage of family okay loss of child a, a gifted child um, a child who saved the family children as a key theme lies here okay some of you may actually be as people like you know just naturally kids are drawn to you you want to have kids to have a large family was always something that you just don't know where that feeling comes from but that's who you are and that's what you want okay um, what you do have as a blessing at the same time and some of you could be literally stand up comedians okay and in the new world um, your your healing your gift could be that now you can be that artist that stand up comedy comedian that sing that dancer that social media influencer because those were the opportunities they didn't have those are the opportunities that you seek but perhaps are slightly fearful of you're scared of taking that risk you're scared of starting that business you're scared of um scared of the uncertain that's as simple as that an entrepreneurial spirit is basically not being scared of the uncertain okay um and what it has given you sorry i shut the camera is your sense of humor you can really make people laugh people enjoy your company you're amicable you, it's very easy for you to make friends it's very easy for you to um understand the emotional aspects of what the other person needs and cater to it could be a people pleasing issue for many of you but you do have that as a strength and when once we start working through our people pleasing issues that can always become a bigger strength for us you're charming people want to talk to you okay and you're somebody who makes friends very very easily okay a strength and a message of this ancestral lineage is clearly to know that you have survived what your ancestors have survived what nobody could which should be a strength but that shouldn't become your story you don't have to be in the survival mode you can get out of it and now thrive now choose to uh, take those risks now um yes save money and yes be okay when things don't go exactly as planned there is no guarantee coming your way but um Be, take more risk that's the message that i'm trying to say okay follow your passions take more risk take start that business that's the message that comes in for you guys okay um yeah these are this is that ancestral lineage that has that has crossed through water okay i don't know how i explain it like there's a war and some i can see a family in a in a little boat sowing away to the next island because with their three buckets of um belongings and uh, you know five kids and that's how they have to build again from the scratch and they have been able to do so multiple times okay so you should not be scared of change you should not be scared of uprooting yourself from point a and redoing something all the way differently and hopefully better every time better that is what your ancestors have lived and you can live the tiger iron it's unbreakable okay um let's see them missing anything else uncon you know subconscious fears is a challenge here your ancestors have also dealt with it fear of darkness and ph phobias that you don't know where it came from for many of you some of you may be scared of heights water snakes uh, ghost i mean from the longest time you've known and you need to face those darling that is where your solution your next gift your biggest blessing will come from face those phobias um, challenge those fears if you've never done bungee jumping because it scares you just looking at that video go do it okay if you're scared of water take help take a swimming class go to that you need to face your fears that's the that's the summary of it whatever your fear is whatever you think is your doomsday the day you decide to just face it the world will change for you okay then you become the emperor then you become the knight okay let's see if i've covered everything the age groups here are significant something may have happened to you at the age of 1 that's that's still a subconscious thing for you 38 and 49 could be two other significant ages um mercury in your chart plays a significant role um so look at where mercury transits what aspects it makes because the magician does represent the mercury okay similarly look at where where in your birth chart does um virgo and gemini fall also whenever we're doing an ancestral reading i said that for pile 1 as well should have perhaps said that in the intro uh look at where your south node is your south node your ketu is where and in which house 
in which nakshatra it's not only your past life it's also the past life of your ancestral lineage what gifts they had what curses they felt um what karmic healing do you need to do okay um if you if i whatever i've said has clicked and you are connected to this ancestral lineage sounds like your life and sounds like your situations um do leave me an ant emoji and give it a thumbs up now we're going to move to the next part of the reading for you wherein we're going to look at what gifts specifically and what guidance do they have for your current situations if any remedies and rituals come up we'll talk about that as well um i want you at this time at this moment also to take a couple of deep breaths and think of a specific question or aspect of life that you're seeking guidance around okay because then everything i'm going to say will kind of connect to okay this is how i can move around it whoa Okay. I lost your cards. Okay, go. Okay. Um uh, So these are the gifts. Oh, you had one extra card. Um these are your one second I need to fix the camera. And now we have more space. Okay. Um these are your guidance and your perhaps personality and gifts coming in. Let's look at the first card. Receiving lovely look at that beautiful yellow and that open hand okay um invite help okay help green tara mantra the moment i look at her om tare tu tare tu jai hum okay tibetan culture could be something that also draws you allowing oh my god all three cards are very much in sync receiving allowing inviting help okay we talked about fears and phobias you need to also perhaps connect with the energy of shiva and definitely if i'm not a therapist right so you need if you need medical help seek it okay true offering beautiful see the number of birds and this mudra this is beautiful pile one had the namaste and yours has a repeat of the hands being open okay being open um that is a mudra a yogic mudra that you should definitely practice will help you open your mind your fears okay one of your biggest gifts pile number 1 and that's the core gift you will always get help from people perhaps people in pile 1 if you were drawn to one and two both uh, then one is the person who helps you one is the people who will support you who will connect with you who will feel for you okay pile number 1 is your help group queen of cups there's a lot of heart space energy that we're receiving today artists creators three of swords this talks about the pain the betrayal the fear and 10 of pentacles who doesn't want to see that who doesn't want to see that okay financial lack or fear of losing money or not having enough money perhaps keeps you in restricted ways of living okay fear is a some fear is something that is repeatedly coming up for you pile number 1 2 sorry um and ask yourself how do are you guided in your life currently whichever situation you had asked about is the decision is the road guided by faith or fear okay because if you can accept and face the worst thing that can happen the worst thing that can happen as an outcome for whatever you're asking for help around okay if you can allow that to happen and be okay with it then go choose that faith go choose that road right you are meant to create a family legacy remember we said that your ancestors came from a common man pile didn't have a lot of resources didn't come a privileged ground um and money didn't come easily to them power was not their thing that's not going to be your story your story is to leave that lineage that legacy for the next generation to actually achieve things that don't end with you but are passed on to the next 10 generations perhaps okay stability and emotional stability is also a very strong gift that you can untap as you get older okay the secret garden is also talking about if you can face those fears every resource that you need which that magician card talked about is right there for you fire air earth water all the elements come together and you can channelize that you can um be an alchemist to receive everything that you want okay you are someone who authorities tend to support which means let's say you've applied for a 
a government application or a documentation to go through yours would perhaps go through sooner than other people or um, you work in a nine to five job and you're naturally somebody who bosses like uh, you're not somebody who has power struggles with your seniors you're not somebody who has to struggle to get the next promotion the only time you start struggling is when you start acting like oh i can do it all on my own i don't need anyone's help if you are naturally being a team player if you allow other people if you share your ideas you have always seen and you perhaps noticed that things just happen for you okay the more you became become fixated on doing things on your own and being a uh, loner is when things start getting complicated so allow people to be around you Okay, allow to be uh, yourself to trust other people. Okay, and when I say trust, it's not depend on other people. It's trusting that together you and that other person can make things work out. Okay, if you're somebody who's single right now and you're very hurt by your past relationship, something's broken your heart. Needless to say, of course, first comes the heart chakra healing. But equally important, connect to females in your group. Okay, whether you're a man or a woman. Um, connect through artistic endeavors join groups that are artistic in nature or either that or financial education both these roads will lead you to the next beautiful flowering relationship okay uh, some of you really need to learn financial literacy because it doesn't come through you come to you through a dna or a natural learning so maybe you're somebody who's bad with personal finance you tend to overspend or overindulge or not be able to stick with the budget and you're there's a need here to get guidance get support get mentorship for personal finance okay learn it learn how to manage your money and you will get out of your scarcity mindset you heal your relationship with money do you think that people who are rich are always mean bad and have earned it in a in a non ethical way because that is your roadblock to getting more money yourself okay and you are powerful is a confirmation that i don't know why it feels like you need you are okay one second i'm trying to channel the message some people are chasing the next big promotion that big car that nice house because they feel if they have it it will give them power it will give them success it will mean that they are validated that is never the case nobody cares honestly nobody cares okay you may think that having a car of a certain kind makes you in a certain social status and three other people may believe that but the rest of the world doesn't care they may still think that you are you're good for nothing and you're powerless does that make sense like what we associate power with is very internal to us so things and success and promotion and um, a bigger car a nice partner is not what power is power is what you already have okay what you have attached meaning to and the lesson or the gift here from your ancestors is that you were always powerful even when they were being a, okay there's no less power in being a common man versus an emperor the only difference is one has an ability to execute power in a different way it's more evident to other people right but in the world we're living in in democracy even the common man is extremely powerful with the internet today everyone's voice can get recognition do you know what i'm trying to say so power is something that you need to have a healed relationship with money is something that you need to have a healed relationship with this will not only affect your finances and your career but also your relationships okay and help you build that legacy that you definitely are worthy of pile number 2s birds are relevant here okay you may want to um help sanctuaries or places that um help in birds or you know rehabilitation of birds taking care of them i never say buy a bird that's that's not very nice okay um but yeah birds are relevant your ancestors may also connect with you through birds okay through special birds specific birds um, crows are of course associated with ancestors so you may be naturally drawn to them as well i think i did cover the green tara mantra as a remedy chanting that mantra listening to that mantra will help you feel more connected and more powerful uh water and hydration as soon as i did said that i thought of water as well the swirling water here the water in her cup hmm interesting now i remember even in the vision that we were having about your ancestors they were crossing a water body okay in that boat maybe you want to travel to places that have beaches or have water that will get you more connected to your lineage to your own power okay allow and receive are both messages that tells me that if you can work with affirmations around you're ready to receive something 
you're ready to give yourself power give yourself the permission because the lizard spirit is always painting phobias for us it's constantly trying to keep us safe it's constantly trying to not make us push us out of our comfort zone so the guidance that you seek for your situation or aspect or question whatever is outside your comfort zone whatever makes you feel like oh my god i'm so scared i wouldn't i don't know what will happen do that that is your answer that's literally your answer and your solution okay i'm going to read this card it has affirmations for you to work with if you'd like to and some more messages i want you guys to leave me a bird in the emoji section that tells me that you've reached all the way till the end of pile number 2 um powerful readings these have been okay are you drawn to standing up for yourself and your personal truth are you a champion for yourself and others follow the guidance in your dreams visions and messages from the archangels especially archangel michael okay i now want to say this if you were drawn to pile 1 pile number 2s you may have a message there okay because i do see a connection i'm not sure if that's your soul tribe or if that's just the extended ancestral lineage but if you've come from 1 to 2 i hope you can see there are some messages that repeat position yourself to do what needs to be done in order to set boundaries people pleasing and create well being for yourself and others i am grounded and focused i have plenty of energy you can take a screenshot of this and time to accomplish what i need and want to get done i'm confident in my abilities my strength shines through in all i do i stand in my truth and maintain my ground earthing is also a thing that will help you root chakra healing i had given first pile the earth or heart chakra okay you for you it's the root chakra feeling safe feeling connected feeling like you belong and that everything is okay is your remedy okay work with your root chakra pile number 2s i hope i've helped you i hope i've given you clarity i hope i've given you some insights into the powerful lineage that you come from and their strengths don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you again and i'll see you in your next one bye bye hello and welcome last but not the least my pile number 3s you have labradorite i absolutely love that crystal by the way and if you picked it with the image uh, you had a very mystic map okay tone map let's see one and two are supremely uh, interesting we're going to use these cards to first look at who or what kind of ancestral life are we channeling who they were what kind of life they had um what their traumas were then we're going to look at your gifts your guidance for your current situation so this one let's get started okay we have the emperor okay this is really nice that each pile has been so unique in the ancestral community that i've channeled okay and it's very likely that you've perhaps felt drawn to more than one pile because we of course come from different generations lives reincarnations okay i said it in all groups so i'll say this for you as well whenever you are if you want to understand at a deeper level what your ancestral um, lineage is what your messages are what are you working with um, look at the south node of your chart look at where your ketu is placed one second i move the light yeah okay look at where ketu is placed and um that will give you a lot of insight into what you are here to do okay not just your own past life but also your ancestors life who they oh my god okay one and three could be significantly connected so if you were drawn to one and three i am already telling that using those two messages the eagle spirit has your back 57 23 squirrel believe in yourself aries could be relevant here so is the placement of mars in your birth chart by the way panther spirit look at that wow so okay wow his eyes panther's eyes in this card and that third eye chakra for you guys it's the third eye chakra and the crown chakra okay um each pile had a significant chakra that showed up today in some reason or the other but yours is the third eye and the crown chakra okay baffled frustration and unhappiness beautiful let's talk about who they are the fact that emperor has shown up and the fact that you have the eagle and the panther i don't even have to be a rocket scientist to read cards to say clearly you come from royalty okay and i'm not saying that to make you feel good one and two didn't have that okay um you come from royalty in the sense of palaces 
position of power, government authorities. Your father could be a very big politician of his own time. You could be a strong politician of your own time. Um, and in one of your previous lifetime, I mean. Um, it was always your ancestor's way or the highway. Okay? It's as simple as that. When the emperor shows up, it's his way or the highway. He will do things the way he wants to do them. There's no two ways about it. Okay? The emperor can also have to commit some hedonist crimes of the past. Okay, You can't pick any historical king and not see terrible karmic debts that they would have taken on board. Okay, Terrible things that they had to do in their time and era. Okay? Very rarely you'd come across a king who didn't. Okay, And that has a lot of karmic baggage. That has a lot of um, things that you leave behind. You know, Issues that you leave for the next generations to deal with. Okay, um, The eagle and the panther, they had, your ancestors also had a very deep insight into the future, visionaries. They knew 17 years later what's going to happen in their life. They could envision how their death would be. They could. They had a bird's eye view. They were, they were people who have had um, very strong muscular builds. So maybe people in your lineage typically have strong muscle body. You may you may not be tall and big, but you are you're strong. Okay. Um, you've had generational wealth for many of you, I would say, and for exact opposite that of that, because it's a general reading, right? Uh, some of you may have been into absolute loss, debt, and um, bad financial situations at different aspects of your life, because again, that's the karmic debt. The emperor has looted in the past, the emperor has killed in the past, the emperors have done negative things, which will always leave a karmic debt. Okay, um, With the panther, the energy showing in, this is perhaps also a lineage which has got power, lost and got back again, which means, uh, you know, you know a lot of uh, European stories, Indian stories, wherein the king was exiled, the king was asked to go away or the zamindar was uh, or the queen was abolished and then she reclaimed her throne so there's this energy there's this pattern that your ancestors have lived where to achieve something whether it's wealth success money reputation relationships to lose it and then to reclaim it which has given them that bird's eye view that what goes around comes around what is yours will always meant to be these are things that you naturally believe in okay these are things that you've always known that I'm meant to do bigger things. This file, I feel, has just known from a very young age, I am, they dream big. Okay, whether or not that dream comes true is different. You're daydreamers. You dream big. Your dreams are perhaps very prophetic. You love flying, you love traveling. Okay. You don't like that feeling of somebody else guiding your life, your routine, your decisions. You're also somebody perhaps who uh, would, and everything that I'm saying you, I'm also saying you because these are the patterns that I notice in the ancestral lineage, okay? So who they are uh, is covered in that. You're also someone who perhaps struggles to take even good advice, okay? Um, you want to do things your way, and yes, it can work many times. Yes, it has also burnt you. File one and threes are connected is why I strongly feel because one were the people who were good advisors. So maybe you and that pile connect as a soul tribe, and if you have an aspect of if you were drawn to both of them, then you may have a very balanced approach between when you can take guidance versus when you want to do things your way. Okay, um, you don't get along well with authority figures mostly. Okay, which means uh, you get into conflicts with your bosses. You don't like the government telling you how to do things, and you're typically the the one who's going against the norm, the one who who's the rebel, who doesn't want to do things how other people are doing it, or who doesn't want to make life decisions the same as done by others. You have a distaste, perhaps in this lifetime, for um, for rules and traditions. Okay, it, it irritates you at some level. Okay, and happiness for you and your ancestors currently that's the pattern. It always seems like a future thing. Okay, the emperors often struggle with finding peace and happiness because they always were on the quest for the next thing. They always were burdened by the kingdom that they had to rule, the kingdom that they had to manage, the people who depended on them. Okay, So a sense of responsibility, an impending sense of responsibility has been with you perhaps at as early as your early 20s or even your teens. Okay, Anger issues is perhaps also very evident in your ancestors line okay some of them could have been also very powerful wiccans and witches okay because the panther energy does talk about magic uh, the ability to see and insight and also it, there's a there's a factor here of maybe some of your ancestors used um, magic to do harm to someone
okay and that's a karmic debt that you've carried over um to achieve something or to snatch something which was perhaps not rightfully theirs using the negative aspect of magic and magic always gives back uh, as we know okay uh, there's no black magic or white magic magic is magic okay and what you do with it what you do with that power will always come back to you okay um what by the time they were at their older years what your ancestors definitely wanted to do and is perhaps passed on to you is saving the planet managing the resources better uh, maybe some of them also died because of um scarcity in the sense of like you know a famine came or uh, people didn't have access to water or of course wars is always likely with emperors but it feels more like something was less which would have been more had had there been better planning of resources okay so they definitely wanted to save the planet to save the environment they wanted to become more environmentally conscious by the time they were in their later part of their life okay um there's a theme here again and i want to touch on that before we move to the next aspect of restarting okay like you make a plan it that plan works for a few years and then it breaks down and then you make start again so it's almost like things cannot be linear things are not linear for anybody but for for this ancestral group things have constantly been in a chaos or a transformation some day in this city another time in that city some day in this job it's it's more rapidly changing for you guys Uh, and for your ancestral line then perhaps what you've typically expect or seen if we have to compare as a spectrum okay um discontentment and not being grateful okay not being grateful is an ancestral work that you need to do to value what you have to appreciate what you've been given is a ancestral aspect that you bring into this world and to of course have a bird eye vision okay don't over fixate on my way or the highway is something that your ancestors learned the hard way okay they had to do it the hard way that um i have to be flexible i have to listen to other people there can be many ways of achieving the same thing um they i have to be flexible around the strategies that i make to achieve something and that has been the detriment for them uh, even though they had a lot of power a lot of respect a lot of uh, uh values that were given to them a uh, privilege that they had um but that is something that they lacked and it took them a very long time um even though they could see into the future as well that being flexible don't burn your bridges be nice to people hear them out um develop good communication skills those are the things that your ancestors had to learn and understand and appreciate they were also perhaps very fond of art and literature which most emperors of that time were and you may have inherited um old books okay or libraries or um, you know documents of like i don't know like old times are perhaps in your family lineage same thing with jewelry you may be people who have uh, you know jewelry of your great 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 grandmother with some relative or yourself um so yeah things that are passed down um which are like art jewelry artifacts those kind of things in your lineage okay uh let's look at of course the gifts and the guidance that you have if you've so far resonated with things that i've said sounds like your family line i want you guys to leave me an eagle spirit in the comment section below and let's see what an eagle spirit okay so that tells everybody who's with you in this journey your ancestral community that they are making the same mistakes hold on i'm moving the camera too much okay yeah that should be better all right so we're going to look at what your gifts are and your guidance and personality which can help you in this particular aspect at this point of time i want you to take some deep breaths and perhaps think of an aspect of life or a current situation that you need particular guidance for because we may get a very specific message for you okay karma wow i swear i didn't i mean i recorded this in two parts this reading i didn't even have time to kind of look at all the cards but we talked about karma a lot in your first part okay and good karma and bad karma emperors have helped people emperors have saved lives grief okay we will and remember we're talking about gifts here okay so these are the gifts divine flow beautiful see we talked about it is not your way or the highway okay and if you're young and perhaps not connecting to that energy it's it's what your gift will become through n number of metamorphoses by the middle age you will come into this acceptance that 
even in the times that I don't get what I want in the way I want it, it has been a blessing and I need to accept that there's a certain timing, a divine flow of things and I cannot blackmail the universe or corrupt my way into how I want life to be. Okay, uh, that's clearly a message very strong for you guys. Two of Cups. Okay, here comes love and reciprocation. Page of Cups, inner child healing. Three of Wands, let's talk. Okay, you may be very naturally good at trade. Um, export, import, trading online. Trade as a word came in very strong. Wow, this is a powerful pile. Pile number three is piercing the whale. Okay, he has a weapon of arrows in his hand. Okay, uh, and we'll talk about this card. First of all, let's talk about your gifts. When you surrender, you get everything you want. You naturally attract people and you attract people who need help, by the way. Help in the sense of like somebody is dealing with emotional pain and they will come to you and you can really help someone. And don't ask when you're helping that person. Uh, it's a very message, strong message. What will I get out of this? This person will not be thankful to me. Um, will they even remember? Okay. You can help people navigate through grief and that is a big blessing when it comes to karmic goodness okay you may not get thank you from that person or you may but your act of selflessly the word is selflessly selflessly helping someone navigate through their pain will come back to you in tenfolds reciprocation from the universe to help heal your heart to help heal your life aries is very self-focused okay emperor's card is the aries card and the fact that it's your ancestral lineage, while you have a natural ability to work on self-improvisation, you're somebody who doesn't need somebody else to come in and give you feedback. You already know what you need to fix in your life and you already know how you need to do it. And perhaps you're also good at following that path. At the same time, the lesson of the Aries is also to consider other people, to be more philanthropic, to not make everything about themselves. Okay. And to do the right thing, to do the thing that makes, which is why I feel like pile ones, you should hear them and you should connect with more people in your life who are pile ones, who want to be true and themselves and say the right thing, in, not in the sense which is the moral thing, say the right thing in the sense of their truth, owning someone's truth, doing things because it just makes them happy, not because they want to get something back. Okay? And these could be your gifts that you've already tapped into. Because if you are, if you can, if you are somebody who is naturally drawn to philanthropic endeavors, if you are somebody who wants to, who help. Okay, some of us have a love language that when we give gifts, when we make people happy, we feel happy. Okay, uh, there's a there's a die function that can come from it that some people become people who um, drive a sense of security from the value they generate. I'm not talking about that, but some of us really get happy by making someone smile. It makes us feel like, oh, that was a good feeling. Okay, And if you have that as a gift, universe will never stop bringing you gifts. Universe will never stop bringing you support. Okay, You are somebody who can very easily um, master difficult spiritual practices. So let's say somebody wants to learn a yogic uh, a yoga mudra maybe it will take them 15 days it will take you five minutes you're a quick learner you can and especially quick learner when it comes to um, things which are typically harder to crack for other people okay uh, you could be as i said physically very strong uh, which means whether it's fitness whether it's your ability to bounce back from a disease whether it's um, mental health you're strong when it comes to navigating through uh, immunity strong okay that's just that's just as simple as that if you allow yourself to be playful, final number two, if you wanted a solution for your current situation, be playful, okay? Be childlike, trust and create. How are children? They just, they just are as young as they want to be and they are carefree and they feel through life and they don't hold power games as the central way of dealing through life, right? So be playful. Allow your inner child to thrive. Surround yourself with people who make your inner child feel safe, not judged. Okay, There is some sort of a consignment, some sort of a opportunity that you've been waiting for, which is coming your way. Okay, If you are in a third party situation, that means you're in a triangulation of any kinds, um, the person you love will choose you. But you need to be authentic and give them what you want. I don't know how that will fit in, but 
they choose you they want you they want to reciprocate everything that you have but there's some sort of a there's some sort of a exchange that needs to happen from your end in order for this to play out okay if you are in a triangulation very specific messages but that's coming in so i'm giving you that okay um some of us one of your biggest gift coming back to this karma card is your ability to know what is the what is the right action many of us don't intend to make bad decisions nobody does right don't intend to hurt people but because of your ancestral lineage you naturally know what will work and what will be the right road your decision making abilities are excellent okay so if you are somebody who doubts am i making the right decision constantly you are you are your ancestors have blessed you with sharp deliberate decision making okay love will always surround you okay if you are in a third party relationship though you need to disengage from the one that is not for you which means let's say you're the one who's choosing between two people and you're in that confusion state allow your heart space to choose one person and then move away from the other one because that other one is a source of a lot of grief and karmic bondage for you similarly if you are the one who's waiting for somebody to choose you uh, and you are in a third party situation disengage that's a karmic bond that you need to disengage until that person is ready to heal whatever they need to heal and choose you so don't be in that triangulation aspect remove yourself from that engagement and if you are the one who's deciding that triangulation choose what you need to choose and disengage from the other one it can't be a uh, this also applies for jobs this also applies for careers what i just said you're going to make a decision and then just go after it and do away with the fomo gratitude journaling is a big remedy for you pile number 3 and remembering that if you focus completely at one aspect of life or one decision and trust that it is going to work out for you believe in yourself was your message right um trust that this is going to work for you it will work for you don't try to like have backup plans that's what i'm trying to say okay there's no backup plan just jump trust give it your best and know that it will work out okay because it will that's your gift it will the divine flow will make it happen if you trust in the divine flow if you don't try to rush it if you don't try to make it my way only does that make sense okay i think i gave a very one was a little more open ended i think threes became very this is it this is the answer i mean there's no way of making it longer or different or better okay your crown chakra and your third eye chakra came in at the very start of the reading and i want to talk about piercing the veil you can connect to the other side whatever that means to you uh, it could be that you can speak to ghosts it could be that you can speak with your ancestors you can get direct messages you can be somebody who feels very strongly connected to a particular deity and you see them you dream them you hear them you may have psychic abilities that you can channel very clearly you could be a clear audience a clear sentient n number of things all of us have it some of us just don't give it enough focus or weightage you can you can tap into it and you can pierce through the dishonesty very well okay your ability to see truth is very strong by number 3 okay and that's a gift in this world of maya we're going to look at this card now meanwhile i want you guys to leave me uh, a baby because that's how you guys should be if you just can be a baby or a water image okay a waterfall or a water body because you need to flow <coughs> okay let's see what your introspective questions are and then i'm going to give you some affirmations which you can work with with whatever you're dealing with do you often feel inspired to write are you a channel for messages from the divine this and this connects very well so you may want to keep a dream journal you may want to when you feel like oh i don't know where that message came from write it okay take time to clear your consciousness to discern the truth set your intentions to gain clarity and allow inspiration to flow through trust that information and wisdom you transcribe will help you and those around you some of you can become writers by the way great ideas come to me all the time i find the perfect words when speaking and writing people listen to me they actually do by the way people listen to you the written word comes to me and through me with ease i have the ability to be a heavenly scribe okay every pile has been humongously powerful today and i'm privileged to read for each of you thank you for giving me the opportunity the time thank you for showing up here truly grateful i hope you've enjoyed this if you did don't forget to hit that like button if you feel somebody will benefit from my readings 
please do share the channel it will mean the world to me i will see you in your next reading bye bye